Adding depth to your image is a great way to make your photos more immersive and even make them look 3D, but sometimes that can be quite challenging to do. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how you could add clarity and depth simply by using local adjustments inside Lightroom. And I'm gonna start right now. Now adding depth or 3D look to your photo might seem a little bit complicated, but it's all about shaping light. And we can actually use or shape light with inside Lightroom by using the masking panel. So take this photo here as an example. It's a photo I've taken in Krokret National Park in Croatia. And the photo I think looks really good. I've edited it really nicely, but it doesn't have that depth, that visualization of 3D that I want it to kind of, it looked really impactful when I was actually seeing it, but in the photos, it just didn't have the same impact. And we can emphasize that by actually using masks. So what we're gonna do is go over from our edit panel, we're gonna to go to our masking panel. And we're pretty much gonna be using two main masks. We're gonna be using our linear gradient and our radial gradient. So the first gradient I'm gonna add in, I'm gonna add in linear gradient here. I'm gonna add in a gradient right at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is go for about there, pretty much just selecting the water, but as a gradient. So it gets gradually softer to 0% as we appear higher in the image. Then what I'm gonna do is simply go to my exposure here and simply darken that down. I'm not gonna darken it down by too much, no more than minus one. And as you can see, we're already adding in a little bit of depth. The, the foreground looks closer to us, I think, by darkening it. Now, we wanna do the same with the background. We wanna make it look a little bit further away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, again, create new mask. This time, I'm gonna go ahead and select radial mask and I'm pretty much gonna select all of those waterfalls there. So I'm gonna select those like so. And this time what I'm gonna do is go to my exposure and slightly brighten them up, but again, not by too much, maybe by 0.25 there. And what I might do is actually extend the anchor points here, go for something like so. And again, we can adjust the feather, but I'm pretty much gonna go to 0% feather here, making it nice and soft. Now with that, as you can see, we've already added a little bit of depth but I'm gonna add in another radial gradient to kind of show off the sun. The sun is appearing on the right-hand side. As you can see, all the trees are on the right-hand side of the trees are brighter than the left. So the sun is clearly coming from the right. So what I'm gonna do is go to my create new mask. I'm gonna to go to radial mask, add a nice big radial mask, place it so only a quarter of it is showing. Might make it a little bit longer, make it a little bit more elliptical. And this time I'm gonna to go to my exposure here, bring that up slightly maybe by 0.5 of a percent. Then I'm gonna to go to my temperature, maybe add in plus 20, making it a little bit more warm. And then right at the bottom of effects here, I'm gonna to go to my clarity and dehaze. I'm gonna drop them down by minus 10 and minus 10 there. So the sun is almost coming through. Now you can go for an even more of an effect by making it very long and rotating it slightly. So it's adding in, but gradually as it kind of hits the image. Now what I might do is make it a little bit narrower and go for something like so. So basically what you want to do to visualize depth is by showing off the photo's shadows and bright parts and sculpt the light with inside the image. Now we've only done a really quick job here, but already if I show you the before and after, we can see that we're kind of adding in light using the sun to bring in, making it softer and also darkening the foreground to shape the light and make the photo look a lot more 3D. Now, if you wanna know a little bit more about masks and how you can use masks inside your photo, I've actually got a masterclass tutorial discussing everything about masks. But this is one way of how you can use masks to show depth and add clarity to your images inside Lightroom. Here is the before and here is the after.